everyone, it's Michelle from the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library coming to you right now with a little bit about this week's Curiosity Club theme, Crazy Cryptids. Animals are a favorite subject for children's stories. From Peter Rabbit to Pete the Cat and Curious George, zoology is the study of animals, or more specifically, the study of animals that have been confirmed by science. Animals that have been captured, studied, and verified as real. Now, what about animals that fall between the realm of real and imaginary? Animals that many claim truly exist, but haven't been captured and confirmed. Well, we call those animals cryptids. Mermaids, dragons, and unicorns are a few of the well-known cryptids that are common characters in the books and movies we enjoy. But there are also many, many more cryptids. Each region of the world has their own cryptids, mysterious creatures that many say are real, but others say don't exist. We tell each other stories about these cryptids. Bigfoot, Yeti, Mothman, Chupacabra, the Loch Ness Monster. There are hundreds of cryptids, and cryptozoology is the study of these animals. Now, some people quickly dismiss the study of cryptids believing that there's no point in wasting time and energy trying to discover things that probably don't exist. But cryptozoology is a perfect opportunity to use scientific processes like observation and field evidence to gather clues. Photographs, footprint molds, scat and hair samples, these are important steps in the scientific discovery. In fact, some of today's most lovable real animals used to be cryptids in the past. Gorillas were largely unknown to the Western world until 1847, when European scientists collected the first specimens for study. Before that, reports of large human-like monsters visiting Africa were dismissed as make-believe stories. And then there's the platypus. I mean, I can't really blame the people of the past for not believing that platypuses were real. When the first scientific specimens were sent to Europe around 1800, even then, scientists didn't believe they were real. Many people thought that they were just creative examples of crazy taxidermy. Now, you might notice a trend in that we often describe new animals or cryptids using descriptions of animals that we already know. So, platypuses were described as beavers with duck beaks and Sasquatch or Bigfoot has been described as a large hairy primate. So we're going to use this practice in our craft this week to make crazy cryptid flip books. Now if you didn't get a chance to get this craft at the Monday market at the library, that's okay. We'll have links and instructions on our website. But otherwise, let's get crafting. To make your crazy cryptid flip book, you'll either need the pages and book that were available in the craft kit from the Monday Market, or ones that you've printed off at home based on the link available on our website. Step one is to use crayons, colored pencils, or magic markers, whatever your favorites are, and you're gonna draw an unusual creature on each of the four pages provided. Use your imagination for a variety of details horns, wings, stripes, scales, the more the better. Some of these can be real animals, some of them might be cryptids, some of them might be purely from your own imagination. Once you've drawn your four creatures, you'll need to ask permission to use scissors and you'll go ahead and cut along the dotted lines on each of the pages. And if your pages are lined up right, you can actually cut through all four pages at once. If you want, you can give your book a title or illustrate the cover, but otherwise you are ready to mix and match flaps to create all kinds of new creatures. After you've made your crazy cryptid book, use your imagination. Flip the sections back and forth to create a variety of cryptids and ask yourself, what would you name each creature? What might it eat? Where does it live? For more inspiration, you can always check out some sweet library reads featuring cryptids. These are just a few of the many, many reads for all ages available from the library that feature cryptids. 
and titles are also available for download on the Hoopla and Libby apps. Back to the topic of cryptids, Christopher Columbus thought manatees were mermaids the first time he saw them. And the eight foot long Komodo dragons of Indonesia weren't officially recognized by the scientific community until 1910. Scientific discoveries are seldom straightforward and quick, so you never know. Maybe 2020 will be the year we get solid proof that Bigfoot or some other cryptid is real. Until then, stay creative and keep reading.